Hi guys, it is Saturday, August 9th. You can't see it, but trust me, that's the date. And as you can see, I got some suitcases behind me because Ben and I are getting ready to go on vacation for a week to Newport, Rhode Island. Um, I've never been there before, so I'm pretty excited. Um, what do I have here? Ben already started packing, but I have not. <laughs> and it's 8.50 right now, so I really need to get on the packing. But I haven't vlogged since I took the bar exam, and I really haven't been doing anything ever since I took the exam. Well, that's not true. After the exam, Right after that, I had my sister's bridal shower, which I was kind of planning for right after the bar, and then that happened the weekend after the bar. And then this week, I really haven't been doing much of anything, so I don't have any excuse for why I'm not packed right now. I'm just being extremely lazy. I'm very relieved that the bar exam is done, but it was pretty hard and pretty stressful, so, Ever since I've been done taking it, I just every once in a while will get like a wave of terror that washes over me, thinking that I failed the bar exam and that I'm gonna have to take it again and that I'll be embarrassed. My employer will be like, why did you fail? You're an idiot. And all of those good thoughts. But yeah, there's nothing I can do about it now. I studied for it for two months every day basically I really don't see what else I could have done to prepare for it so what's done is done and hopefully I passed <laughs> I just think overall the whole testing environment really adds a stress to the exam that you can't really prepare for in the library or in your apartment when you're studying. Because when I was preparing for the bar, I would do the essays timed, I would do the multiple choice questions timed, and I would always make it under time. Like I would always have at least five minutes left when I did those things timed. But when I got to the actual exam, I found myself like rushing in the last 10 minutes because you just there's nothing that can prepare you for that i feel like when you're actually in the test you're kind of like second guessing everything and you dwell on things more so i really had to stop myself from doing that during the exam because i didn't do that as much when i was practicing so that like worries me that because i was dwelling on certain questions that i like I don't know it just stresses me out so I don't really want to talk about it anymore but the exam is done and I'll know in October whether I passed or not I really really hope that I passed though please God so yeah ever since the bar exam I've just been kind of blazing around not doing anything sleeping in late and just kind of recovering I guess <laughs> But I'm excited to be going on this vacation because it'll give me something to do. <laughs> Some enjoyment in my life. And I've never been in Newport before. I'm really excited for the seafood because I love seafood. And I heard that Newport, Rhode Island has great seafood. I've had seafood in New England before and it was really, really good. So I'm looking forward to that the most. Now, it's 8.55, can you see that? So, I really need to pack. Let's get started. We are on the road now. 
We got out later than we thought, which was to be just expected. It's 10.23 right now. We just got gas. I got a coffee. Stopped at my parents to get these chairs. And we're finally on the move. Except we're stopping now at a stoplight. How are you feeling about this trip so far, Ben? So Best far. trip you've ever been on? We got some snacks. I got some Pringles. There's certain snacks that I don't eat unless I'm on a road trip. Do you find that? Or do you eat the same type of snack all the time? Sounds like it's Skittles. <laughs> they didn't have, I wanted sour Skittles, but they didn't have those. That's another snack I only ever really eat on a road trip. I got some flips. <clears throat> I don't feel like getting them because they're in that cooler. Some flips chocolate pretzels. Then got normal pretzels. Pittsburgh pretzels. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, but I we are on our way. We have an eight and a half hour drive. Although I think now it's down to like eight hours and ten minutes. Eight thirteen. Eight well, hours and ten minutes. Red light so far, so <laughs> I feel bad leaving Elby's. I'm gonna miss her. She's gonna be so bored. But my mom is watching her, so hopefully she'll too. keep her entertained. Any other updates? <laughs> to be continued. Making our traditional Wendy stop. That's where we always stop on road trips. Here we go, let's get some chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. I'm a chicken nugget. It's a huge, sorry. It's a huge room. Wow, we have a kitchen and a microwave. Wow. Yippee, are you okay? I'll stand right here so I have good lighting. Oh my God, it's bright. I can't stand right here. Hi guys, it is day one. Is it day one? Day one. Day one in Newport, Rhode Island. Um, yesterday when we got back, we were pretty tired, so we just went and ate some dinner. We got clam chowder at the Black Pearl and some sort of swordfish sandwich that we split and shared with each other. And then we came back and fell asleep. <laughs> but today is our first actual real day here, and we're gonna go get something to eat now. We're gonna try this place called Corner Cafe, where they have breakfast and lunches and coffee, which is what I really want. And yeah, hopefully we can get a seat because I think it's going to be crowded. Cause it's a Sunday and it's like brunch time. Yeah, so we'll see if we can get a seat. You ready, Ben? Yes, I am. Let's go.
So Ben and I didn't end up going to that corner cafe because it was an hour wait. So we went to this place called Empire Tea and Coffee and got a breakfast sandwich and some coffee. It was pretty good. And now we're just walking around. Ben saw somebody famous. Who <laughs> was it? I don't know his name. Some Dawson. To look it up. Yeah. And now we're just walking around. Here's the view. It's really cute here. Mm-hmm. We were out here last night and we couldn't really see anything because it was dark. And there were thousands of people here. But it was ridiculous. It's really cute in the daylight. So let's keep going. I should put some sunscreen on. <laughs> Ben and I just walked around a little bit. Very cute. Saw some other places I want to explore as we were driving around. And now we're going into the Stop and Shop grocery store to get some drinks and stuff and snacks for the beach. Here's our cart of all the healthy foods we got. <laughs> we have come to the beach now. We're just parking and we're gonna go in. It was $30 to park, which is ridiculous in my mind. So while we're sitting on the beach, we're going to do some research about Everything. where to park, where to go to the beach, restaurants, and stuff like that because we really don't know what we're doing here. But let's go to the beach. It is later on now and Ben and I are getting ready to go eat. We're going to a place called the Red Parrot. Um, but I don't know if we'll be able to get in there because, is there something on my eye? I don't know if we'll be able to get in there because it might be too busy. I think it's like a popular restaurant around here. So we'll see about that. But I had some weird allergic reaction when I got out of the shower. I had like red patches all over my body and hives on my wrists and my hands and my hands are still kind of red but everything else has recovered so I think I'm okay. Here is my outfit. My trusted jumpsuit that I always wear from Loft and my jean jacket and a necklace from Urban Outfitters. Oh, it's all messed up. There we go from Urban Outfitters. <laughs> there it is. And my shoes are from Marshalls. They're Steve Madden. Yes! I am hungry. Let's go eat. The Red Parrot. That's where we're going. Hi guys. It is the second day in Newport and Ben and I are getting ready to retry the corner cafe that failed yesterday <laughs> and then we're going to go on a cliff walk which is a walk like along the beach Ben and I are going to do the cliff walk. We'll 
we're walking through a neighborhood that has a bunch of mansions all over the place. I feel quite rich, even though I'm not. <laughs> you can see the ocean through those trees. That's where we're headed. We have arrived. done with the cliff walk now and now we are at a beach called Easton's Beach which was closer to the cliff walk than the other beach we went to yesterday but the water looks like it's brown which is weird because the beach we were at yesterday did not look like that I heard it's chocolate flavored water hmm. let's we'll bottle that up mm -hmm. Ben and I are going now to eat at a place called the Oyster Bar, I think? Midtown? Midtown Oyster Bar. We're gonna try some oysters. First time we tried oysters ever was in Pittsburgh and they were not good. So we wanna try them again to I see if they are good. <laughs> and um. Yeah. So we'll see if this place has good oysters.
guys, it is day three in Newport and we just got ready. It is raining outside and it's supposed to rain all day long, which is unfortunate. So we're not gonna be able to go to the beach today or really do anything outside. But right now we're going to get some coffee and something to eat at this place called Custom House Coffee. And yeah, then we'll figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, but I really don't know if it's gonna be raining. Yeah, but let's go get some coffee and get some food. I got a breakfast sandwich, bacon, egg, egg and cheese on bagel, an iced vanilla latte, the standard, then got the same thing except coffee and sausage instead of bacon. <laughs> I also got a piece of coffee cake. Look at that crummage. So thick. <laughs> we just ate and drank our coffee at why well, can't I remember the name of that place? Custom House Coffee. And since it's raining and it's gonna be raining all day long, we decided to stop in the Museum of Newport History, which is right there, if you can see it through the rain. Let's do it. My hair is crazy because it's raining. But Ben and I are gonna go into this library called the Redwood Library. It's one of the oldest libraries in the country. So let's go. So the rain has stopped for a little bit, but Ben and I are in this park in the middle of the town and they have this tower thing that we saw about in the other place, the other museum we were at. What was that called? The Redwood Library? They talked about the tower in there? No. 
was the first one? That's just the Newport History Museum. Oh, okay. Anyway, this tower, no one knows how it got here, apparently. I can't even find a plaque about it. <laughs> apparently very little it's research has been there. done. <laughs> but now it's we're the, walking around. The tower museum is right across the street. If it's free, I don't mind popping in there. Where is it? That building right there. Oh, I was wondering what that was. The one was. with free kombucha. So this is the tower museum? Yes. Okay. Well, apparently they do have information on it then. Not out here. <laughs> Keep them to themselves. Hi guys, it is later on now and Ben and I are going to get something to eat, something to eat, something to eat at this place called Ray's Restaurant. It's also uh, an inn, like a bed and breakfast, um, but they have a restaurant too. So it's right next to our hotel, so we're going to go to that. And anything else? Here's my outfit of the day. All of my outfits are um, not new, so these are all things I bought a while ago. Because <laughs> I don't have money since I've been studying for the bar. Anyway, this jacket is from Forever 21. My dress is Francesca's. My shoes are Target. And my earrings are Loft couldn't remember, but I got it. Let's go. Oh wow, I look amazing. This is what I look like when I get a good tan. <laughs> we are back from dinner now. We've been back for quite a while. We had a pretty early dinner-ish kind of, probably normal for other people. Can you turn that down a little just for the vlog? And as you can see, I have a face mask on my face because since it's raining, Ben and I didn't really do anything. We just came back here and have been eating lots and lots of snacks in bed. I ate a, a ton of stuff. First, I started, whoa, why is it dark? First, I started with my leftover coffee cake from this morning. Then I had Lay's chips, then I had Pringles, then I had a Reese's cup, and then I had a glass of wine. Then I decided to put this face mask on my face, and here we are. This is the face mask I'm using, Sephora Green Clay Mask. I used it yesterday too. I just got it when I came here, but I got a sample of it from Sephora. Did I just say the word sample right? Yeah, that's wrong. I think I'm having a stroke. <laughs> I got a sample of it from Sephora a while ago and I liked it. So I decided to get the real deal. And I like it again. I used it yesterday and I felt like it made my face look just, you know, nicer. Not perfect, but a little nicer which is all you can really ask for I don't know if you can see through the face mask but I got a sunburn on the top of my forehead I also think I got a little bit of a sunburn on my legs but it's not really painful anyway I'm gonna get back in this bed and maybe eat another snack what did we do today Ben historical museums the infamous tower oh yeah we did see the infamous tower. We had the best meal we've had so far. Oh uh, yeah, the dinner at Ray's, Ray's. Restaurant. <laughs> what? Ray's. It's Ray's, I'm pretty sure. It's Ray's. When I called, that's how they pronounced it on the oh, audio, audio okay. machine. okay. At Raya's Restaurant. I look so ridiculous. What did Rhea actually I think? Was really good. I got scallops. And it, I got a baked potato with it. And it came with corn, and I think that's it. 
They gave us bread in the beginning, which was really good. And Ben got seafood platter, Scallops, which was shrimp, yes. some kind of fish. Yes, and he liked his as well. Very much. I just feel like it was a no frills, rely on the taste of the seafood place, which is what I like. Yeah, it knocked that out of the park. Mm hmm. He also got a bowl of clam chowder, which you said was your favorite so far. Mm hmm. Well, yeah. I think it is. Okay. It was the same way. They didn't add anything, it's just the right ingredients. Mm-hmm. And I got this sweatshirt today because I got cold and I kind of wanted a sweatshirt. And yeah, I got it at one of the shops on, what's the name of that street? Thames. Thames, Thames Street. Yeah, I like it. It's nice and oversized and comfy. What'd you think of that history museum? short it was very short literally i went around and I, when i read everything on the walls when we watched that video you happen to click on mm -hmm. it was like a rehash it was like the quiz at the end of the yeah it really was it was weird mm -hmm. it was like i'd hit all the highlights okay it was very strange it was kind of weird because i think that this i feel like newport actually has a lot more history than what that gave I feel like the library, other than being at the beach, the library was my favorite part of the trip. That library was cool. Yeah, I Those liked Those old it books were really cool. I liked that part. And I did enjoy today, even though it was raining. I thought we did more today than we did the other days. Because I feel like there, were, there wasn't as many people out because it was raining. But the rain really wasn't that bad. At some points it was, like when we were in the museum it was pretty bad. Mm -hmm. But after that, it was kind of okay. We found a decent coffee place too. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. This morning we had coffee at Custom House Coffee, which I filmed earlier, I believe. And I think that was the best coffee we've had here so far. In my opinion, mm -hmm. the worst coffee was at the corner cafe unfortunately the breakfast there was the best breakfast though very good breakfast empire coffee was the second best coffee in my opinion i wouldn't mind going back there we also want to do a tour of one of the mansions we want to do the breakers and then this girl in one of the shops today recommended that we do um rough point because it's all about, they have some exhibit now that's about this one woman. Miss Dukes. Miss Dukes from around here, I guess. And she said it was her favorite out of all the mansions. So I kind of want to do both now. First, we were just going to do the breakers. But now I kind of want to do the breakers and what's it called? Rough point. <laughs> Rough point. I always want to say high point. We are watching some movie. We keep changing between different things on the TV because... We forgot how horrible it is <laughs> to watch television. It's been so long since we've watched TV. Yeah. I really have not watched television in a very long time. I think this is the first time I've seen a commercial since football season <laughs> ended last year. And at this hotel, they don't have, like, the apps that you can connect to. Like, normally we just watch Netflix or Hulu. Yeah, something. Recently, I've just been watching Queer Eye, honestly. And that's about it. And YouTube on um, my TV. But here, they don't have the apps, so you can't do that. So all we have is the basic cable. They don't even have a guide. It's like I'm in the 90s again. And then <laughs> they had the mask on TV the other day, which also made me feel like I was in the 90s again and we watched that. The thing about having just a basic cable is that you're forced to watch things that you don't really like. Like if The Mask was on Netflix, I would never watch it. And if there was anything else on TV that I would have rather watched, I would have never watched The Mask the whole way through. Yeah, we watched the best thing that is currently on. But <laughs> we watched all The Mask. 
and I also watched that weird Steve Martin movie with Queen Latifah oh, that God. I didn't know existed. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that one existed either. And it either. was super weird. That was a rough one. But I watched that. And then The Devil Wears Prada, which I didn't, I only saw the end. Was I annoying you? No, you were throwing my phone and slapping it down the bed over and over. How is that annoying? It's not annoying me, I just don't want you to hurt my phone at all. Well, I'll hurt you! I heal, my phone doesn't. The sacrifices I make. Anyway, that's what's happening. Tomorrow is Wednesday. We have a reservation at The Mooring, which is a seafood restaurant. We're gonna get a whole lobster. Yeah, finally I'm gonna get a lobster. So far I've had scallops. I've had lobster mac and cheese. I think they'll let us pick the lobster. And I've had a blackened bluefish. What? Do you get to pick your lobster? I don't think so. They do that at some restaurants. I don't think we'll be able to. So I'm looking forward to that. And I don't really know what else we'll do tomorrow. We have to schedule the mansions. Ben? Should I schedule those for tomorrow? Why? Because we have nothing to do Thursday and Friday. So let's schedule them for Thursday and Friday. I'm trying to make myself look as ugly as possible. I'll never find that angle. <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway. So we should schedule the mansions for Thursday? Okay, I'll get right on it. I'll do that right now. And um, I'll catch up with you later. Bye. <laughs>